Hey everybody, President Tatiris here at Disney Springs. Got something cool to show you. This place used to be called, I think, Mickey's Pantry. But in the corner they had like a small, uh, they sold like, I think, tea and spices and different salts. It was in the corner, it's like, it was part of Mickey's Pantry, but separate. Well, Mickey's Pantry's gone, which I did film, I'm pretty sure I filmed a walkthrough of Mickey's Pantry before. And I showed how it was with the um, little spice section they had. Well, now the, store the company owned that spice section is now the entire shop i think they changed like two or three months ago they did that right here so let's film a quick walkthrough and um, show you all the cool stuff in there show you what changes all right let's get going okay it's called the spice and tea exchange look at some of the cool uh windows they have here look how nice that looks let's head it in and it smells incredible in here. Hi. Just one in the corner. All these jars so you can open up any of them and smell. We got some samples up front here for you. You can help yourself too if you like. We got custom ones right behind me. Got our teas in the back. We got spices, sugar, salt and peppers, and a whole wall of candles for you too. If you got any questions, let me know. Okay, great, thank you. No problem. Yeah. I bought some um, Himalayan salt here once. Very expensive, but it was nice. This is. Um, Vix garlic mix. And what I like you they could you smell it. Let's see which one is that. Here it is. Let's see if I can do it. Ooh. That smells nice. And something like this. Wow, this is $21.65. Smells incredible. It'd probably be nice for cooking, but expensive. But they have smaller bags. 549. They have tons and tons onion obsession signature spice blend. And today I explain it. I like how they have it. We can smell it. Pretty incredible smell. But we can do a few more. Here's a Cajun spice blend. 2165. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are all basically the same. Price 549. Expensive? It is very nice. Grilled fish spice blend. Now that one smells. Okay, I can get the top off this one. Try it. Mmm. It's okay. I wonder if they have thyme in, thyme in that. Let's see. Black pepper, garlic, lemongrass, paprika, smoked sea salt, sea salt, oh dill, that's why I smelled dill, I meant. Not, not too bad. But, uh, spice section. Now let's look at, uh, let's look at the tea section here. Ah, uh, this is going to be my favorite section. I love tea. I probably have a couple, di hundred, couple, couple hundred different kinds at home. I'm always buying them, like, expensive kind, well, not too much the expensive kind. I have a few more expensive kind, but even the cheap kinds I like trying. Ooh, I bet you this is nice. Contains two large tea bags. Caramel apple cider. $9.99. I, I don't really like tea loose like this. I always make it and it's too strong, so I prefer them in the tea bags. I already measured out. Chocolate candy cane. I don't know. Let's try it out. I've had tea that smelled like, had like a um, chocolate smell to it before. I didn't care for it. Yeah, that smells good. I just don't know if I'd want it in a tea though. Let's, uh, $27.69. Expensive, I know that. But look, sugar cookie, bourbon, chestnut, her herbal tea. Oh, you know we gotta try this. I wish they had some tea samples they can actually drink. That would be nice. Whoa. That's interesting. I think I, yeah, this smell nutty. Something else, I think it's the bourbon, it's um, Interesting, not sure I like it in a tea though. So they have many different kinds. Tea infuser, 
They have it for hot tea, cold tea. They have tea balls, which you can get cheaper somewhere else. And I always found this sign interesting. I've never seen it before. It sells different tea types. Black teas, green teas, herbal teas, white teas, full on teas, and pure teas. And one of these. I prefer iced tea myself, but I have made hot tea and then turned it into cold before. But they have tons and tons of kinds. So this is definitely would be my favorite section of here. And I know I could probably I could probably spend a lot of money here if I could. So like I said, I love tea. Here's the more sugar and spices. Oh, here's the rose petals. And my mom loves these. She puts these in a lot of different things. I bought um, I bought packs of it off Amazon. It's definitely cheaper in there, but if you don't want to do that and want to buy it from a place like this, this is where you can get it. Very nice. $5.39. So there's turmeric, catnip. Catnip is a member of the mint family and has been grown for centuries for its today of affecting humans. Similar to chamomile. Hmm. The lavender flower, dandelion root, peppermint leaf. They have different kinds of sugars. Dark cocoa sugar, pound cake sugar. Um, Made in uh, key lime sugar. I like how they break this down in section. Here's different peppers. Canine pepper powder, light chili powder. Uh, um, Anko pepper powder. So lots of different kinds. These are 379. So you don't like nice hot stuff, this is where you can get it. And of course peppercorn, white peppercorn, green peppercorn, pink peppercorn, New Mexico red pepper powder. Oh, I bet you that's hot. Habanero pepper blend. Some candies there. I think he said they had candles here, I think too. Okay, here's the different salts. Um, Garden marrow pox sea salt. $5.59. Yeah, I think this place has gone up since I um, bought that um, pink salt. Which, I'm trying to look. I don't. Here it is. I had a smaller pack, I think, like this. $3.39. Now, I think that was about the price. But, secret? You have a dollar tree next to you? I've got a big bag of that same kind of salt for a dollar. Just to let you know. Oh, black truffle salt. Lime frost sea salt. I like it. You can smell them if you want. See how they smell. Bacon smoked sea salt. Of course they have cups and other things. It's not stuff that, that's edible. Oh, here's. I think, I think these are the candles. Yeah, look at this. Herbal Mint Garden. Oh, that's nice. Smell the mint. You smell almost like um, parsley in there. It smells like a nice garden. And they have several kinds. How much is this? $33.99, so definitely expensive, but very, very nice. Because they have teapots. And I forget what they call this, but this is where you can mash stuff up. Like in the old days. Very nice. $15.99. Something like that, if you take care of it, it'll last forever. They used to have here, when this was just in this corner, when this spice place was here, when this was Mickey's Pantry, it was only just like this corner here. That is it. And the rest of it was Mickey's, um, Mickey's Pantry, I think it was called. 
And they have huge things, uh, huge bricks of the sea salt if you want it. That thing's heavy. $28.95. And they have some bigger ones right there. And... Oh look, to put it already together something like uh, Sriracha Bloody Mary. They have it all mixed together, all ready for you. Uh, not sure how much it is. And of course, the more mixed spice things. That's it. Very nice. Pretty cool. So, this is stuff you're interested in, like me. You're interested in cooking, you're interested in tea and stuff like that. This is the place you'd come to. And I like how it's all divided in separate sections. Sign with the custom blends. And all the way around. It's a nice place, pretty airy, and um, I enjoy it. I think those were up there when this was Mickey's Pantry. Nice. Okay, I'm happy I got a chance to uh, film this. Okay, any comments or questions, please put them below. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye everybody, bye. Hope you all have a nice day.